he would do what he could to get me a job. And I went home and I thought, and I finally realized that in spite of my degree in economics and sociology, I didn't have the nerve to say I wanted to be an actor. But radio was pretty new and I said to, I wanted to be a sports announcer. He said, well, I don't have any contacts. There's nothing I can do to help you there. But he said, maybe that's better. Let me give you some advice. He gave me the best advice I've ever made. He said, you start out. This is so important as you look to the future. You see, in the 21st century, staying employed will mean more than just knowing something. It'll mean being able to keep on learning. It'll mean having character and discipline, being proud of yourselves. Learning to learn. Learning to look to the future with confidence. We're moving from an age of things to an age of thoughts, the mind over man. It is the mind of man, free to invent, free to experiment, free to dream, that will shape the economy and the world of the future.
the Great Depression, 1932. It wasn't until I went back to my summer job to get a little money to go job money. After I graduated, my summer job was lifeguarding at a river beach in my hometown. And there were people who came out from the city, corporate heads and so forth, with their families every summer. I taught their children to swim. And one was there, and he told me that if I could tell him Station and then take your chances on there from getting what you want.